all this rule of the Senate does is allow a majority of the Senate to take a position and pass a piece of legislation. The Constitution says nothing of the subject of a filibuster, and it says nothing of the power of a minority to defeat the President's judicial nomination. Filibusters are neither an idea of the Founding Fathers nor a historical tradition of the Senate. For some time, I'd hoped that my colleagues who oppose reform would allow a majority in both bodies to prevail and do what the vast majority of the American public desires. But the opponents of reform, defenders of the status quo, won't cede their rights. It is the product of a rule of the Senate, passed many years after the ratification of the Constitution. This rule does not derive from the authority of the Constitution. In July, this legislation received 55 votes on the Senate floor, a clear majority. Unfortunately, obstructionists used arcane Senate rules that require 60 votes for passage to defeat consideration of the bill. The filibuster didn't even exist until the, 19, the 1830s when it was used to block legislation and not judicial picks. Now, is there something wrong with majority rules? I don't think so. Cloture rules are a 20th century phenomenon with the current rule less than 30 years old. If you've got 51 votes for your position, you win.